Okay, let's talk 40K fluff. <laughs> Welcome to Twisted Dice, I'm Darren. Today, we're gonna talk none other than Gasgol Mad Urk Fracker. Gasgol is one of the baddest and biggest orcs in the 40k universe and by god has he just got bigger in the new cool rule set that's just come out for gaz now gaz has so much lore so much history on gaz it makes him such an awesome character so i thought why not do a short video on the beginning part of gaz over the next couple of weeks i'm going to do I'm going to go quite deep in depth with Gaz because he's got so much history. And I forgot actually how much history we actually have on Gaz. Like when doing my research and going back through a lot of stuff, it's like, wow, God, I forgot about that. I forgot about the fight with, you know, Commissar Yarrick. Um, he really is such an awesome character. Like there's so much lore on him. Let's take you right back from the beginning because... Gazgol's not always been a war boss. He's never, he's not always been known as the as the big dog himself. But at the beginning, you got a little planet called Urk, and this is pretty much where Mad Dog, where kind of where Gazgol kind of gets part of his name from, the planet he, you know he comes from. So Gazgol Fracker, he's part of the part of the Goth clan right at the beginning, just like a normal orc boy. Um, they they want to prove themselves. They love fighting, like with orcs. They've got to fight. That's kind of like their nutrition. That's their way of surviving. So they've got to, they've got to do this. Now with with Gazgol, him and his little boys, they they've gone out into this on their planet because this planet is inhabited by humans. It's a rich uh, planet with, as I say, rich. It's rich in materials, a lot of raw materials that the the human colonies are there harvesting collecting and you've got the blood angels having to keep coming back there so very often because the the orcs would uprise and they'd have to go in there you know put them back down pretty much try to wipe them out but like if you know orcs orcs are fungus they're fungi they like little mushrooms hiding away somewhere you leave a couple of spores hiding underneath a tree or in a dark cold cave you're gonna get lots and lots of orcs and before you know it you're gonna be overrun and this is pretty much what's happened on urk urk Unfortunately, it got the orcs has started to come back up and started that uprising again. So this little this little campment of uh, dark angels, they're out and about, and Mad Dog, uh, sorry, Gasgol Fracker, he's out with his boys and they're tracking down this little encampment. They find this little encampment and they attack it. Now you got or orcs are fierce and ferocious. They're running, they're charging towards them. Now, unfortunately for Gaz, one of those Dark Angels, they take that lucky shot. <sighs> Gaz is taking a bullet to the brain. If you know anything about Marines and you know the way the, the bolter shells work, they're devastated. And they can pretty much rip apart human flesh like that. The idea upon these bolts, like if you listen to some of the Horus Heresy stuff and the, the way they describe the bolts and impact upon human flesh, it just <laughs> blows it all out. But Gasgol's taken one of these shells to the head and like it's put him down on his bum. He's like gone bam, down to the ground. So Gaz is there, he's down, but Gaz kind of, this is where Gaz kind of gets his first bit of reputation of being a badass. Gasgol's got up, he hasn't gone down, it's like phew, holding his head together, like still raring to go on, and he's proper going for it. So the boys, they've managed to get Gasgol away. And now they've taken Gasgol back to uh, Mad Doc Grotznik because Gaz Gasgol is in a bad way and Mad Doc is offering pretty much any orc boys that bring any of their wounded brothers or dying orcs or dead orcs to him, he's gonna pay him, they're gonna pay them in like goods, metal, sluggers, big choppers, claws, maybe not claws, but they got some good arsenal. They got some good rewards coming back for it. So these boys, they they want the new shiny stuff. They want the big stuff to go clobber the the stupid humies with, or they beat their brothers up. So they take Gasgold back to him. So Mad Doc's there, you know. He's he's 
replacing part of Gasgol's skull, reinforcing it in, because like as you can imagine, that bolt has done a real big number. It's blown big parts of his brain out. It's squid, squid sinew in there. He's put bionics in there. He's replaced his eyes, had to replace it with a bionic eye. And he's pretty much patched Gasgol back up together. Not sure on how this, this is going to work for him. Gasgol wakes up. Now, Mad Doc, he's like, okay, <laughs> didn't expect this one to happen. I've done some real crazy stuff with you, man. Like, I've proper gone next level on you, Gaz, and you just got up. And I think Gasgol at this point is probably shocked himself that he's got up because he's just taken a big old chunk to the head. But this is the important part. Now, that's earned Gasgol so much respect with the Goths, the fact he's just got straight back up from taking such a hammering from a, from a devastating blow. But he's got up and for the first time in his in his life that he's now seeing clearly like he's got clear vision his eyes working properly uh before it wasn't that great but now it's like you know he's got clear clarity he's thinking straight for the first time and this is not usual for orcs orcs are not known for being clever or orcs are not always known for being um to think clearly or or you know be normal they want to fight they want to charge they want to go straight in head deep into stuff but for the first time he's seeing straight now Gasgol kind of sees this as he believes that he's he's destined for greatness for good you know to be the prophet of Gork and Mork and he believes that that great intervention divine intervention from the you know, the, the green gods have saved Gasgol. so Gasgol, he's come out of the Mad Dog's grimy little scummy little tent and as he comes out into the Death Skulls camp, you've got the warlord at the time for the Death Skulls, which is Dregmech. Now, he's seen Gazgo and he's kind of like calling him out like, What are you doing in my camp? We don't have no gods in this camp, boy. Next thing you know, out of pure rage and anger that another orc clan is in his base, he's opened up his, his custom shooter. And like all the shots are pretty much just exploding around Gaz's feet. Gaz is like, okay, right. Now, out of sh he, he kind of thinks that that's kind of like confirms that he, he is the prophet from Gork and Mork, you know, the, the great green gods for the, for the orcs. Or it could just be the fact that orcs are known for being terrible shooters. And in fact, it could just be the fact that he was so terrible that he probably bloody missed every single shot. Anyway, Gazgol doesn't take any second chances. Before you know it, Gazgol's gone charging straight in there. Bam! bare hands he's pretty much given some devastating blows to Dregmech. now all the onlookers they're there they're cheering you can imagine like all all Dregmech's boys all his knobs are all around him like you know cheering him like go on boss go on you show him who's boss go on you give him a good cracking anyway gas goals he's just like harrowing the hell out of him with his pure pure bare fists next thing you know to finish the job off gas goals reached up his head's gone up Bam! Straight down on Dregmex's nuggin. Now, of course, Gasgol's had part of his brain replaced with pretty much armor plating. So you can imagine what devastating blow that's been. That blow is pretty much finished Dregmech off. Now, at this point, Dregmech is just he's just a pile of mess on the floor, like a pulp body. Gasgol's kind of like straddling him in his hand. And he pretty much calls out the rest of the Death Skulls, like, Listen here, you boys. I take you all on, one by one. If you want, you can all charge me at the same time. I don't care. And of course, that happens. Orcs love a fight, and they're getting in there. They're getting ready for that scrap. Now, of course, for the next hour or so, Gazgol's there, and he's just like bare hands, smashing the hell out of these orcs, like really giving them some. Like he ain't even taking a scratch. Like he's proper hammering it into these orc boys. These, you know. There's nothing in that camp that's holding Gaz back. At the end of that, Gaz pretty much tells him that he's the prophet of Gork and Mork and pretty much takes control over the, you know, he becomes the new warlord pretty much of that encampment, which is absolutely frigging crazy. So after weeks and months of fighting, Gazgol's pretty much defeated all the all the opposing clans. So the Bad Moons, Evil Sun, Speed Freaks, he's pretty much defeated all of them and called them all to his banner which is really really impressive for any orc full stop he's managed to have that ability to do that which is crazy so 
this is the thing with Gaz. So he's, he's done that ability. Now he's he's made as you're aware. He's made them all aware that he is the prophet for Gork and Mork, and he make you know he tells them that they're destined for bigger things and better things. They're there. The great wire is there waiting for them. He orders their all the orcs to start stockpiling all their weapons. Now, for the first time ever, orcs have come together in unity. <clears throat> so for months, weeks and months, the orcs have been fighting. Gazgol's pretty much defeated all the all the opposing clan cultures around him. So he's beaten the, the Death Skulls, he's beaten the Bad Moons, Evil Suns. He's pretty much beaten all of them. And the, the thing with, with Gazgol, for the first time ever, he's managed to bring all those different cultures, or the clan cultures, together as one. He's united every single one of them, which is amazing, because no orc has ever been able to do that, or no orc's been powerful enough to do that. With this brings a new era. For the first time ever, the mechs are starting to work together. They're starting to create bigger and better and powerfuler armor weaponry flight craft he's he, his work has made them a better orc it's absolutely freaking crazy because like he makes them aware like he is destined for bigger things and the orcs are destined for bigger things and the orcs are there to lead that great wire across the stars and he orders all the orcs to start stockpiling all their weaponry. He's, you know, he's calling them off. He's telling them to start making the aircraft to start to get off world. Now these big mechs, they're confused. They're like, okay, uh, not sure how this is going to happen. Like, um, mm. so out of sheer luck, a space hulk appears in the atmosphere of Urk. Now this this vessel is causing a lot of trouble. It's pretty much blocking out the sun it's creating it to have solar flares which is causing disruption down the planet there's so much going on with this this vessel Gasgol sees this and he sees it as a sign from Gork and Mork and he orders his mechs to start firing the tractor cannons up at the space hole and he's telling them to get their the flight craft they've got available he's sending them up with massive great harpoons and this pretty much big old vessel he's got these the, the mechs to pretty much harpoon and pin it to one of the twin moons of Urk. So Gazgol's then got this, this Space Hulk pinned to the side of this twin moon of Urk. He's then sending his orcs up to this Space Hulk to take over it. So they're all going up and they're, they're boarding these planes or these weird contraptions. If you know anything about orc craft, a lot of the time some of the orc stuff doesn't always work. So I can only imagine some of these craft were only ever designed for one time use and probably some of those poor orcs probably never made it off planet they probably exploded in midair anyway so they've gone up there and some of these some of the ships are pretty much colliding into the side of this space hole blowing massive great craters holes into the side of the deck and all these orcs are starting to pile into the into the space hulk itself now if you know anything about space hulks space hulks are never ever empty they've always something lurking deep inside of a space hulk and this was no difference so this space hulk it was infested with demonic ho demons demonic hosts soul grinders anything demonic it was lurking in this ship pretty much this vessel trying to escape urk had gone into the warp with its human crew the human crew being absolutely petrified frightened kind of attracted a lot of demonic essences into the actual ship itself and the ship itself got lost in the warp and maybe by the guidance of the of the gods of the green gods they've guided this vessel back to Urk for Gazgol to control so anyway Gazgol and his boys they have to fight off a massive great demonic horde upon this vessel so they're there they're fighting away you know they're pushing these orcs right back and it's you know it's a big old fight now gasgos has to call more and more orcs from the planet site up to the planet to you know to control this we're not talking hundreds we're not talking thousands we're talking millions of orcs billions of orcs being lifted up from the planet side to attack this vessel to to take over from the demonic host so you know gasgos there and he's you know they've pretty much put this fight back to the engine room where the warp drives would be now, when they get to this warp drive, the warp drive's not there, it's a rift 
where the demons are coming from and Gazel's you know fighting back but your orders you know the the firepower of the orcs to start firing at this rift and they're there firing away firing away nothing happens like this rift is still open in real space Gazgol's cross is angry you know he's, you can imagine he's just taking a big old swipe with his claw nothing nothing is is happening like and then Gazgol's like he's mad he's angry like that massive Roar! green energy you know blaring off of Gazgol out of pure rage, he's gone up, back up with that massive great headbutt of his, straight down on the rift. And like with a green pop, it vanishes, it disappears. And that's how Gazgol manages to take control of the Space Hulk. So that's the first part of Gazgol, Mad Urk Thraka, and how he left Urk itself. Hopefully you've enjoyed this this little bit of fluff about Gazgol and the uprising and how he left how he left Urk. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like on the video. And more importantly, if you haven't already, like I said, please do hit that subscribe. It really does help us out massively, and we really do appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to leave you be. This is a short and sweet video, and hopefully I'll catch you all again very very soon for another orcish fluff report. Catch you all soon.